Hello everyone, in this video we're going to install WordPress locally using the MAMP server. So you're going to need a few tools first. First of all, you're going to need the MAMP server. So go ahead and go to this URL. I'm going to put it in the description. Um, it's mamp.info slash any, or if it's your preferred language, it's probably going to change to something else here. So go ahead and download it. Make sure you download the, the Mac version. There is already a beta test for the Windows version, but I, I'm not going to try it. I'd rather just download WAMP. So go ahead and download it. Um, the next thing you want to download as well is WordPress, obviously. Go ahead and download the zip file here. Go to wordpress.org slash download. Um, you could download the tar, but you're going to have to untar it differently than the way I'm going to do it in the terminal here. Um, you're also going to need a way to interact with the database. In this case, it's MySQL. Now, there's there's a built-in tool when you install MAMP. It's called My, uh, PHP MyAdmin. And you can basically interact with it. You could do queries. You could... Um, create databases or database tables, basically insert uh, fields and all this stuff. It basically you can do anything you can, but it's very slow and it's, it's not really the best one. There's a free tool that is it's called SQL Pro, and this is only for Mac, so you're going to have to download this one if you want. I actually recommend you do. If you actually have money for it, I recommend NaviCat. So go ahead and download this because I'm going to be using this so you can follow along. So once you have all of them in, all of them downloaded, um, open up your terminal here. I have um, this is Xtrem two, so I have a, a split view here. Um, and the first thing you want to do is um, go to your downloads first, actually, and um, you're gonna have to install MAMP. So go ahead and click on the MAMP, and this is basically gonna be a, a regular install. Next, continue, continue, accept the agreements, um, install, and it's gonna ask you for the password. So basically what you're installing here is Apache, which is a web server, which is going to be listening for requests. So when somebody requests your website, it's going to be listening for that request and it's going to fetch the, um, the actual media, whether it be HTML, PHP, or whatever. And then MySQL is basically the, the database system that you're going to be using in order to put inside um, database tables, such as the ones for posts and pages and all this stuff. And P is for PHP, which is basically the programming language that you use in order to build WordPress. So basically, right now, just click Close. Go ahead and go to your Applications folder. Go to Finder, Application. It should be here under MAMP. And it should be here, look, in this, this little elephant here. So just double click here. And since you're going to be using this quite a lot, just go ahead and pin it here and um, next to your development systems. Applications, I mean. I also pinned down um, SQL Pro here, so you're going to have to find it. Uh, I'm not going to install it for you, so you're going to have to install it. It's just a simple install, by the way. So I'm going to exit here. No, actually, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it later. So go ahead and go back to your terminal. Now, I'm in my home directory right now, so if I click ls.lah, if I type it in, I have all the basic um, files and folders here. Now, by default, the MAMP server comes with a with a folder called htdocs, which is going to allow you to put all your information in there, all your websites in there, including your WordPress websites. Now, that's not typically where people usually put it. Where, where you're going to put it is where I'm going to tell you. So go ahead and go to your home directory, and we're going to create a new directory here, make dir, and we're going to call it sites. And we're going to cd into sites now. By the way, I created an alias for ls.lah, so I'm not going to be typing that the whole time. I'm just going to be typing la, and I should get the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to clear this now. <coughs> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip WordPress and put it in there. So basically, if I type la here, I have downloaded the WordPress unzip, and I want to put this unzip file, unzip folder inside sites, because that's where basically I'm going to install the website. So unzip WordPress, hit the tab to autocomplete, slash D for choosing the destination. And I want the destination to be sl tilde slash sites, tilde slash sites. Okay, hit enter. And I'm going to clear this. And you can see here that I should have WordPress installed. I mean, un unzipped, which is good. Okay, the next thing we need to do is change a few configurations. Go to MAMP server here. Since I changed the the actual folder I'm gonna need to change it here so by default it's under applications map HD docs 
So I'm going to change it for sites. So here it is, sites. I was already in there, by the way. So you can go to home, and it should be under the sites directory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it as a shortcut here, as a favorite. OK, so choose sites, and I'm going to select it. So right now, the, the root is going to be under your, your home, and then sites. So click OK. Also make sure that um, you remember that is it's by default it's going to be port 8888. This is because it's going to interfere with some other programs. By default, any other program usually installs it in port 80, which is just regular localhost. But MAP installs it by port um, 8888. That's because it doesn't want you to enter the password later on all the time. You don't worry about this. Just just remember this. Um, one thing I want you to do actually is right now just click on this and copy it because we're going to need it later. Okay, hit OK. And um, the next thing we need to do is um, create a database. So basically, we're going to need to open up SQL Pro. <clears throat> and actually, let me just um, let me check something real quick. Okay, yeah, everything's good. So let's start the service. Otherwise, it's not going to connect. We're going to need to create a, a database connection here. And it's already open. So basically, when you open it, when you start the the connection for MAMP, it's gonna open this um this particular page here, and it's gonna tell you all this information here. This is actually coming from your website, not from the not from the website for MAMP. Um, you can see here that the the user is root and the password is root. We're gonna need that later. So let's go to the, the SQL Pro, and we're gonna create a new a new account because we're basically gonna be using this quite a while. So I'm just gonna put MAMP here. Uh, I'm going to put in localhost as the host, and it's telling me to just use 1.27. That's basically the same as localhost. Every every single name you type in here is actually a, a, a numeric representation. Um, the username was root, remember, and the password was also root. And the port is going to be 8889 because that's the port for MySQL, as you can see here. So. So we're going we're going to test the connection first to see if it works, and indeed it succeeded. So let's just connect. Okay, so now we're in the MySQL um, system already. We're gonna need to create a new database. So let's go ahead and add a database. This is for WordPress, so it can install all the all the database tables. So let's just create one called WordPress. The encoding is fine. Just put it as default. Okay, now let's close this. The next thing we need to do is go take a look at what WordPress is going to need. So if we're inside sites here, we have WordPress. So let's just go inside WordPress. And we have a couple of different files here in folders. The one that we're going to be interested in is called wp-config slash sample. That's the one we're going to need to change. So by default, it comes pre-built with um, just random information that you need to basically enter. Um, let's make a copy of it, but we're going to change it to the one that we actually need, the file, to wp slash config. We don't need it to be um, sample, just regular config. And I'm going to open it with bin. You can open it with um, the Fire Explorer here. So Finder, you go to Sites, you go to WordPress, um, you go to, to Config, and you open it with Text Edit. And here's where you're going to be um, changing the, the actual settings here. So I'm going to change it in the terminal here. So config wp config.php. And if we go here to the database name, this is the database name that we created under the SQL Pro. Remember, it was going to be called WordPress. And the username was just going to be root. And the password is also root. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. You you're gonna save it if you want on, under this um, under the other application if you don't have bin. So save it and quit, and we should be good to go. The last thing we need to do is do the five minute install for WordPress, which is actually it's actually lower. So we're gonna go to localhost port eight eighty eight eighty eight slash WordPress, and it should have the install in there. Okay, so now you're going to name the title, which is basically you. You can change later. It doesn't really matter. Let's just call it WordPress title. 
the username you're not going to be able to change later but it doesn't matter since it's local so you can change whatever you, you can use whatever you want i'm going to use admin and the password you could also change later but let's just choose a, a safe password okay so now you could put your email address here which i'm going to put in wordpress coffee dot at gmail.com and I'm not going to allow search engines to index the site because it's going to be local and just click the install button and it should go straight in there so now you can just go log in and um, log in as your as your as your admin username and then put your password in here and it should it should be good to go already um, if you have any questions or any concerns please check the, the inbox and um, comment below and I will answer any questions you have um, if you like this video and you want to learn more about these videos go ahead and go to wordpresscoffee.org and subscribe to this channel okay thank you for watching